Hi, it's Ty again, and today is Vita Day 22. Today I'm going to tell you the nicest thing that somebody has ever done for me. Now, there's a little twist to this because it's not what somebody did for me, it's what somebody did for one of my family members. Now, I have three brothers and one sister, and uh, one of my brothers was dying of kidney failure and he was waiting on a kidney and they didn't give him that much longer to live. I mean, he was just waiting. And my wife had never met him before. We live, you know, on the East Coast. He lives on the West Coast and they just never met. But she said that if she was a match that she would donate her kidney um, I couldn't donate mine because of health reasons. It, it would have been impossible. So she offered up, no problem. So she did all the testing and found out that she was a perfect match. She actually flew out to California on her own and met him on her own <laughs> and <laughs> met my father and my stepmother on her own because I had to stay here to take care of Ben, and, you know, he was still in school, and, and, and the dogs, and we had a dying dog at the time, actually two very ill dogs. <laughs> and anyway, yeah, she uh, flew out there, did all the testing out there that she had to do, then came back, and then made arrangements for the surgery date, and we both flew out at that point in time and uh, I was there with her uh, when she donated the, the kidney and I stayed for about a week and we had her parents come down and watch Ben. And then I had to fly back and she uh, had to stay a, a couple more weeks after that for further testing to make sure that she was okay and you know. But yeah, she, she saved my brother's life, so. That, I would say, hands down, thumbs up, <coughs> is the nicest thing that anyone has ever done for me. And that saved my brother's life. And now, he's got a baby, and that baby wouldn't be here if she hadn't saved his life. So the baby uh, is two years old now. So. Yay! So my dad, needless to say, calls Sandy his angel. Don't blame him. She is one. I'll talk to you tomorrow.